Hey, what's going on, guys? It's B-Bork here, your favorite stoner. <laughs> um, so yeah, let, let's get right into the video here. Um, I like to do little awkward pauses in the beginning. I'm going to start doing awkward pauses in the beginning of my videos. I think that makes me a little bit more uh, relatable there. <laughs> but today's video is going to be talking about how to get better at FPS games slash how to play on a high sensitivity your boy here plays on high sensitivities when it comes to FPS games because I'm a man, man. No, it's because that's that's the sensitivity I'm more comfortable with. So, how do I? How do you play on high sensitivity? How do you get your sensitivity perfect? Like, mwah. like Gordon Ramsay just sautéed a nice piece of meat. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know anything about cooking, but. Let's get right into it. So, first, you got to find the right sensitivity for you. And then see if you're even capable of playing at a high up, a high sensitivity. Because some people cannot play at high sensitivities. They're, for whatever the reason, their aim is bad when they get to a certain sensitivity level. So, first off, I would say any game, uh, if it has bots and stuff, I would definitely make a game full of bots. This game does. I'm going to be doing this over multiple different games. So this game uh, is Rogue Company. And then the next game is going to be Halo Master Chief Collection. The next game is going to be Call of Duty. Those are the main games I ever play. So that's the real real uh, secrets I can give you on those games. Um, so to find your sensitivity, go into a bot, uh, bot game and play like... Let's say you currently play on three. You think it's too slow. You think you can play better at high sensitivity. Play on four. Run around the map. Kill the bots. You know, don't aim in. Or, don't you aim in for the couple of the kills. See if when you walk back and forth that your spray pat, your like crosshairs are staying even. You're not like you know trying to struggle to keep up with it as you're strafing back and forth. A strafe is just where you move your left thumbstick side to side or up and down. And try a couple crouching. So crouch, then shoot, crouch, then shoot, crouch, then shoot. Try that. And then I would start aiming in, playing. You know, do this for like 20 minutes. Just run around killing bots at the game for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, if you're playing Rogue Company, just get into like a, the training mode, uh, the bot training mode, which it goes through game modes. Play on a strikeout. Play a bunch. Just keep going. Play through the games. See how it goes. If you can control the sensitivity, that's good to play on. Um, another recommendation that I have that I personally use these products is Control Freaks. I love Control Freaks. Not sponsored by them, but that's something I can actually tell you that it does work. And I've noticed it in my gameplay. So I play on high sensitivity with an extended thumbstick. And I play with the Infernos by Control Freak. I play with those. Those are personally ones that I found that are really good. Uh, they don't lose the grip as much as some of them do. I'm not saying Control Freaks will make you a professional gamer at all by any means, but it will definitely help with like uh, playing high sensitivity. You know, whether you want to be a trick shot or anything, you can still do that. So, but you have more control of your aim. Like if you're watching this gameplay, my control is pretty good on my aiming, and I play on this game a seven seven one, so that's one acceleration for aiming. And you'll notice that there's a rough patch you got to go through when it comes to playing high sensitivity. You're going to have to learn it. And it takes a while. I would say it takes probably at least 30 games to get used to a certain sensitivity. Or even 10 games. But do not switch your sensitivity constantly. Do not play on like, I'm going to play on a 4. And then I'm going to play on 10. Then I'm going to play down to 4 again. But I want to play an 8. You know, you just, just stay to one for like 10 games. If your KD drops even lower than normal, and you notice your recoil is very high and you can't control it, go back down to, go down one. So if you're playing on eight and you feel that's too fast, play on seven. If you feel that's too fast still, play on six, play on five, play on four, three, and then just keep on going until you find the one that works best for you. And if you feel it's too slow, like eight's too slow, Play on 9. Play on 10. Uh, with this game, bump up the aim acceleration to like 6. 
and stick to that same sensitivity if you feel it's too slow. Bump it up to six, then go seven, then go eight, then go 10. And if you're not noticing any difference and you feel like, hey, this is still not working, then go and play. Then bump it back down, bump the aim acceleration back down to five and go to eight. And just keep on doing that. Until you find the right sensitivity, that's really the tip here is to find the perfect sensitivity for you. Because I personally play Call of Duties on a nine or an eight. That's my sweet spot. Black Ops 3, I have to play on a seven or an eight. Normally I play on a seven because that game is so fast movement that you have to play on lower sensitivity. Otherwise, your aim is going to be dog. Uh, dog shit. I'm just going to cuss. I'm getting monetized for this anyways. Yeah, your aim is pretty much just dog shit. And it sucks. And <laughs> with any of the Call of Duties with like the new Call of Duty, like uh, Cold War, I was playing on like an eight sensitivity. That was fine. Didn't really notice any difference. And uh, normally how I played on like Modern Warfare, I play on a nine. World War Two, I think I play on a seven seven. So honestly, it just depends on the game. I'll go over how to find your sensitivity in Call of Duty. And with this game, man, I'm dropping a 40 to I went 40 and 11. So I'm pretty good at FPS games, but I'm not the best. And I'm never gonna tell you guys I'm the best. And this aren't tips for you to go pro. I'm not a professional player. Never was, never could be, tried it, epically failed. So, you know, if you want to say that, hey, you know, you know what you're talking about, that's fine, man. You know, it's I'm just trying to give out tips here. So definitely just um, go through, play, a couple, play like 10 games with a certain sensitivity, bump it up if it's too slow, bring it down if it's too high. My best tip, get a control freak. It'll save you a lot of headache. Um, I play with a Battle Beaver uh, controller, and I have the increased uh, dead zone. Like uh, the stick is more. I want to say it's it stops. You, I won't have ever have a dead zone. Like my dead zones are more. If you don't know what a dead zone is, that's like the how much pressure you need to put on a certain uh, like thumbstick if you want. Right, it's thumb sick to aim. You have to put this amount of pressure on there. I have it bumped up, increased in weight, so that way it's more um, heavier, I guess, and it makes it more easy to control. So I can play at a higher sensitivity, so that might help me out. But even with a radio controller, I could play, play, I could still play with a high sensitivity, even like at an eight and seven and stuff. I was still playing at high sensitivities. I mean, I could play Call of Duty on like a 11 or 12 uh, with a sniper rifle. I mean, heck, I could still, I could probably play it on 14. I've done that. I played on a 14. I got like 81 kills. So, and uh, Black Ops 4. <laughs> and so, I mean, I know I can do it. It's not, it's just something I don't feel comfortable playing as much. So, playing high sensitivities, it's not for everybody, but definitely it might help you. You know, if you feel like you have really slow turn and stuff. It might help you out, you know? Um, so, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's just me rambling. Uh, this video probably sucks, so if you stayed this far, thank you. I don't know what you're doing, but I love you. And that's all you need to know. But, guys, I am super fucked up. <laughs> uh, I decided to hit the, hit the pen, so, uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, I'm going to let this gameplay play out. So thank you guys for stopping by. Much appreciated. Uh, another video about me quitting Twitch. I just uh, contacted them about getting my affiliate status taken away because I fucking hate Twitch. And more, more. there's going to be a video on that uh, in two weeks. So uh, I'm going to be releasing videos about Adderall usage in esports and what do I think about it. As somebody being who's been on Adderall before. And uh, knows quite a bit about it. And has had, uh, when I was younger, they had put it like electrodes on my head. And they did like testing and stuff to see like my brain waves and stuff. It was freaking crazy. I'll have to look up what that procedure is called. But um, I was diagnosed with ADHD. So I might be talking about more ADHD related stuff. And uh, RIP Pharaoh. 
you know, Call of Duty professional player, died at age 21. Freaking sad, man. Um, not going to get into his how he died or anything like that because nobody really knows. Uh, family says it was two heart attacks during the middle of the night. Um, either way, man, it's sad. Uh, one of the guys I actually respected in the Call of Duty uh, league and as a Call of Duty professional player, I respected him a lot. RIP, you know, him and uh, shout out, uh, not shout out, but, you know, my condolences to his family and friends who have to, you know, oh man, it's freaking, this whole year sucked, dude. Uh, we lost a lot of people in the gaming community. It freaking sucks. But, you know, hopefully, if you guys are suffering from any types of, like, anxiety or depression or anything like that, you know, go out and get some help, okay? Much love to you guys. I love all of you beautiful faces, and you guys are so beautiful. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next, I'll see you guys in the next video. Jeez, I almost butchered that. Peace, babies. Utility out! It's better be worth it. I 
I got your back. <sighs> Thanks, man. Enemy move here. Enemy spotted. Utility out. Enemies are running low on reinforcements. This is what I do. Thanks. Deploying lethal. Nice job, team. Oh, 